Hello everyone, this is Nancy from teachingwithnancy.com and today I'd like to show you how to combine PDF files using Adobe Pro 11. When you open the Pro version, um, you get this window first and right here you click on Combine Files and then you will search for the files that you would like to combine. And then you click on Add Files. and then search for the ones that you would like to combine. I selected the two files I would like to combine and now here they are. And if you've never worked with Adobe Pro, you will notice um, with the Pro version you can move things around. You can actually edit things which is something that you can't do on the free version. And now you combine them. It's just a click of a button. The two files that I combined are facing different directions. So one file has pages that are landscape and the other one has pages that are portrait. So now with the pro version it's very easy you can move things around. So this is my credits page right here and I want it at the end. And you just drag it and put it where you want it. Uh, I want my answer recording sheet to go here. So you move it around fairly simple. Another thing that I really like about working with the Pro version is that you can actually edit a PDF file, which you can't do with the free version. And let me show you my table of contents page. So right here I have my table of contents, and as you can see my heading is not correct, and I didn't notice that earlier, so I need to edit it. If I click on the tools, and then click on edit, I'm able to type right over it. and I can center it. It gives you all of these editing features. I use this a lot when I'm creating my table of content pages. When it's a very large document, PDF documents can get very large sometimes, and you want to be able to travel from one location to another location within the document easily, hyperlinks is the way to go. So right here on my table of contents page, I want to be able to travel from from the table of contents to another page in the document. So let me show you what you do to add a link. This allows you to create a box around the text that you want to hyperlink. I want my box to be invisible. Next, set the link. Now I need to tell it to what page I want it to go to. Properties, Actions, and then here it's going to page 2. I don't want it to go to page 2. I need it to go to page 27. So I'm going to edit that and I'm going to just type in 27 as a page I want it to go to. Click on OK. OK. And it's set. So now I'm going to click on it to see if it works and it does. And then this should take me back. And I'll do the same thing for all of them. And that way it's easier for whoever's using this document to be able to travel from one location to another because sometimes PDF files can have hundreds of pages. If you work with PDF files on a regular basis, I highly recommend getting the Adobe Pro version. As you can see, it gives you so many more editing features and I only showed you just a couple of them. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you.